Hi, it's Brennan. Now I've been uh, thinking, I'm riding my bike, see? Okay. There it is. Okay, look. I grew up on the West Coast, first generation. That, that's like a crime. If you're a left-handed, like someone like Kurt Cobain or Jimi Hendrix, that is a crime, okay? Uh, Virginia Tech and Fort Hood shooters, those guys were criminals before they did anything wrong because of the crimes their parents committed by moving to the wrong place where they did not fit in. Now, uh, I want you to know that I don't have to suffer fools, but because I grew up on the West Coast, I've suffered millions of them, you know, goofy clowns and idiots, you know. I try to be compassionate, right, nice, and always have been. But, um, people don't understand. People, people refuse to understand, especially policymakers and people who are in know in that people who should know and uh like these guys see these guys behind me a big building with the stained glass windows they should care about this because let me explain to you um this guy over there okay so um where i grew up santa cruz california I had two different private schools and two different teachers, and both of them did two things that really blew my mind. This was in the fifth or sixth grade, and then the seventh or eighth grade, when I was pretty young, 10 and 12, you know, before puberty and all that. Very innocent age, but mature as a person. They counted how many left-handed people there were, okay? And they, were, they I didn't, I was too innocent, but they said, wow, that's amazing. There's a lot of left-handed people there. And so this this blew my mind. And then they also both said these great, these really wonderful, high academic level teachers that I had learned a lot from. They said, oh, a certain person who was in World War II lived, had a cabin in Santa Cruz. And this is just mind warping, okay? Because that guy killed millions of people and that is evil. And so... And I also knew since I was 10 years old, before I went to these schools, that I had a high IQ. I knew that doctors run in my family, a lot of doctors, my grandpa. I spent a lot of time with my grandparents, but I never lived with them. And my other grandparents were rich and lived in Florida. Also, you know, I visited them, like, for a summer one time, but never lived anywhere but California. Never went to school anywhere but the West Coast. I went to school in Guatemala. Yeah. Wonderful. And so, uh... So suffering, suffering fools and sociological, geographical, normative, secondary reality, secondary cultural, geocultural normative reality, and scariness, boo, right? <laughs> come on, come on. I, hey, you know, if I, if I had to run you down, I'd, I'd laugh while I was down. I wouldn't be like, you know. I would always laugh as I run you down. Okay, so. Okay. Very good nature. Mmm. And the mustache is still there. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Figure. Okay, so. Um, so. You kind of do this math, okay? I know there's a windstorm. It's like, it's like God's coming down to like. To write a song, write a song, sing, sing it from the tree. You know? And I'm telling you, this is absolutely sober and true. That this reality exists. It exists. And, uh, whoa! One-handed laptop. So uh, I wish, wish you could see me riding here. Woo! Yeah. So. Uh, so anyways, Superman is crazy. Don't talk to him. Do not talk. Whoa! 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 Pimp stuff. I can't see it. Justin. Here, I'll go over by the flax over here. Oh, God. Camera went out. <laughs> Look. Oh, you missed it. There it is. See? Whoa. 
A windstorm! You idiots! So, uh, it's whipping and whapping, and the lights are out at home, so I'm in town. And the wonderful think, think about John Lennon and his idiot help. That's fascinating stuff. That is fascinating. That's why I went to Hawaii. Conquered the waves. I was a great warrior. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so I want you to think about that. Because um, if, if there's a loss of faith in something a, a great person says, experienced, then there's not going to be any, there's not going to be any nothing, okay? The economy, wars, all kinds of evil stuff. I, I grew up here in the, where the Lost Boys grew up, in California, Santa Cruz. I grew up here, first generation, my parents did not grow up here. I grew up here, my parents didn't. And the secondary norm on the West Coast is right-handedness, left-handedness, okay? It's, it's a paradigm, it's, it's a sweet conspiracy. If you're not smart enough, then shut up, because <laughs> there's going to be laughter as you're mowed down, okay? So, I'm telling this. this is, a net will save the world, and it, there's a lot of backed up stuff there right now, a lot of, a lot of, uh, road rage traffic, people driving around like madmen, you know, looking back there. So, I'm telling you, and I'm insisting, okay, with, with love. From California with love, okay. But there, you know, the professor, the professor Moriarty says so. This is the power. That you must, you, will be. <laughs> I do not, I did not have relations with, with that one. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh God, oh God. So, uh, yeah, last man, on the, last man on earth. So, uh, slick that hair back, boy. Slick it back. Comb it. Ain't, ain't no combing your hair on the West Coast, okay? Um, so anyways, I want you to really, 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 really think about it. Because it's all love, okay? And, um, I'm telling you, it's true. A net will save the world. And he, if there's any hope, if there is, I want to see it. Just kind of give me a little flash, you know, show me a little leg or something. <laughs> if, if there's no fun, there's, you know. Okay, so um, I hope this uh, sees you on YouTube. I will shave. I'm taking donations.